Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues! We are playing as the Maxon Expedition, a part of the Brotherhood of Steel that was sent off to the east into Colorado, faced horrible defeat, and is now trying desperately to recover. We have conquered the Scorpions down over here, now we have to go through the process of properly subjugating them. The question now is, do we also try to go against the robots? And I think the answer to this is probably yes. But if we're going to do that, I've got to find a good way to pull them back. Preferably by setting up a little spot right over here. Kind of hold on to the bunker and then try to rush across the river and cut these guys off from any territory, if at all possible. How the heck do we do that? Well, it'll be helpful if we had a lot more numbers. We can pull back there. Let's go for a fallback line along here. Mostly. I just need to be able to rush across somehow, but if I can force them to cross this straight over here and leave this less defended, it's so much easier to encircle that way. We're gonna try for that. Let's send everyone here except for uh, some power armor along here and let's say along here. And this is one, two, three. We can send probably one more night patrol over here as well. Let's see if this is gonna work as far as reorganizing all of our forces. What are you doing here? You should not be here. Okay. You should be here. Is this technic is this a is this a bug where this is technically a Yeah, it is. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You can't see it, but this line actually extends into this uh territory right here. So we need to take both of you. We need to manually set you up. Why won't you let me do this? Okay, hang on. All right, tell you what, it's being stupid. We're gonna set up a fallback line just here. There we go, and you guys get going. Okay, now we're set. If you can draw your enemy across the river, it's so much easier because the river crossing penalties in uh, Old World Blues are oh so very penalizing. Very, very penalizing and no fun for anyone involved. We don't wanna deal with any of that. Uh, are there some support companies I would like to get? Maybe, um, we're ahead of time on most of this, so I probably don't benefit yet. We can go ahead and grab the bicycles. We could start working on the doctrines. I think I'm going to. 203 days is kind of a long time, but that's fine. We'll pick this sucker up and just start making progress toward having some extra recovery rate and organization. Now, losing some potential population for recruitment, that kind of hurts in a game where manpower is already an extremely precious resource. But this is fine. Who's worried? All is fine in the world. <laughs> Um, we could try to go for some Doctrine Boosters. I have a bit of XP to work with. Walking Infantry, Supply Use, Army Experience, blah blah blah. Yeah, Reducing Supply is nice. We could also go for Army Experience, Gain Division Training Time, Special Forces. <sighs> um, I think Special Forces are included along the Power Armor, so getting these are great. Crusader designer experience, yeah, power armors, designer XP cost, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about the vehicles, I don't care about robots. We care a lot about walking infantry and special forces. I like division training time reduction. I like army experience gain, I like supply usage reduction. Let's go for a new crossroads, that gets me a fair bit of XP, spends all of it I should say. Once we get a little bit more, I will consider expanding out my Knight Division to get a little bit more infantry. As long as it doesn't require additional um, anti-tank weapons, that'll be fine. Scribe Industry cult uh, uh, Consultation gets me production efficiency growth. Let's go for the research. I'm curious if we're going to get like a research slot or something. Because the sooner we can get some additional tech, the better. But if it gets me some sort of a bonus, it might still be worth it. Alright, we've got 96 political power. I've got 14 days before the roadblocks are going to be set up. We're going to find out how much this secures Bastion. I'm hoping a lot, but it'll give me some clue as to how many of these events I can look forward to, because we have about a year to get the Scorpions under control. And if we don't, we lose infrastructure and base stability, which would suck for obvious reasons. We like keeping our infrastructure, and we don't want to lose any more base stability. I'm already a fairly unstable person as it is. Thank you very much. So, roadblocks done. Now we can take down the Outriders. That'll also take a while, another 80 days. That was 25% progress. <laughs> okay. 
So assuming that there are four of these events, that's three more at 80 days, that's 240 days, we're gonna have about 40 days of surplus to deal with this, and we can assume it's gonna take me 50 political power every time I wanna do this. Uh, we're only making 0.83 political power per day. Maybe we can't take on the robots. Let me think about this for a brief moment. So if we're getting 0.83 per day, multiply that by 80, that is 66.4 political power every time we do this, at least with a small surplus. If I'm trying to do two of these at once, we're doomed, right? Oof, okay. Um, well, that answers that question. We can't go for the robots yet, but we will be able to soon. So I have time to finish out at least a couple of other uh, national focuses first. I think that's gonna be the better way to go. We'll see, but I really want to get this fully secured. Uh, we'll get a little bit of power armor. I think we just spent some of our own stuff. It'll be fine. Checking on Elric. Making her way down the access corridor toward the bunker storage rooms. And there needs to be more comma usage. I will say, though, for the most part, I think the writing of this so far has been some of the better uh, scripting and writing I've seen in Old World Blues. So far, this is pretty good. Anyway, toward the bunker storage rooms, Andrea clenches and unclenches her hands inside the power armor. She does that a lot. Have you noticed that? She clenches a lot. She knows the routine is important to keeping herself steady, but loathes having to check in on every little detail. Before all this, she was a leader in battle, not a babysitter for the scribes. Thankfully, the team. T-51B armor keeps her dour expression from view as she passes by saluting brothers, nodding to them as she continues to her destination. Slapping her gauntlet against the open switch and stepping through the doorway, she can hear the sound of raised voices in the storage room. Glancing over, she notices two scribes arguing by one of the tables with armor and laser rifles laid out on them. Turning her attention from them, she sees the man she's come to check on, Proctor Elric. The Proctor is sitting behind a desk on the uh, by the far wall, a terminal screen lighting up his aged features, green in the dim lighting. Striding forward, her boots clanging against the metal, the Proctor looks up and over at the two scribes by the table with a sour expression, before slowly getting to his feet and greeting Andrea. Paladin Commander, here for the Daily Count? Shaking her head, uh, sorry, shaking his head, Elric goes on to say, I understand your need to check in on these things, but surely a weekly inspection would accomplish the same. Andrea's frown deepens in response to his words, her voice harsh as it barks out of the helmet speakers. If this is that severe of an interruption, Proctor, then I suggest you give me your report quickly and efficiently, then you can get back to your duties. We get an argument. Hooray! Elric stiffens, but his eyes never waver, and she sighs internally. The speakers crack to the life again. I have more to do today than argue with you, Proctor. Tell me the daily count, and also, if you'd explain to me what they're arguing about. Today's count is 28 laser rifles. As for those two, they propose we use the experimental schematics, untested schematics, that we brought with us from the Lost Hills. This would allow us to produce and maintain more advanced suits of powered armor, or the same, but with energy weapons. Ooh, do I want upgraded power armor or energy weapons? Great question. Probably power armor for fun, though the energy weapons might be the better way to go. Anyway, uh, let's see, they can't agree we should use them given our situation, but not which. So, let's see, do we want to have a power armor boost, reliability and research speed, or energy uh, weapons, reliability and research speed? Answer, power armor. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for power armor in this. It's so fun to play with! We love it! Anyway, let's go ahead and grab, um, boop, 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 boop. Let's go ahead and grab the civilian workshop so we can build up our economy a little bit faster. Beyond that, Navy, blah, 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 air, barrage, balloons, bomb, gliders, blah, 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 transport gliders. <laughs> One time use. These planes will expire after having a mission. Um, Recon gliders. I don't care about that right now. What do we want? What do we want? Um, We're not very far ahead of time on getting some other tech. Let's go for the research speed. Seems reasonable enough. What kind of resistance are we looking at? Not good stuff. Um, we have researched the riot gear. If I can get some production on crowd control gear, that would be great. And let's just confirm real quick that if I were to take, let's say, militia and add all... Well, it's not on here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the doggos, isn't it? What's the purpose again of the riot gear then? Crowd control gear enforcers. Oh, okay, it's units. That's what I'm thinking of. Right. So you take these rioters. There we go. Suppression value of eight. Okay, in contrast, actually the militia are pretty good at that too. It's the infantry that suck at it. So we could either use enforcers or we could use militia. Infantry, armor, and equipment, or just equipment. 
Well, what's the advantage? I guess these guys have some armor value. Yeah, hardness versus none. So it's a question of, do you want to use cheap units to uh, push down the garrisons, or do you want to use some guys with armor so you take less losses? Very good question. Right now we're using the militia, and I think I'm going to stick with that. But if you need infantry armor, pretty sure we don't have any of that. That's where you would produce, yeah, the riot control gear. Not a bad idea, especially because if this is anything like by blood alone, um, you need a lot more armor to deal with the nastiness that is rebellions. They're terrible. So, okay. Anyway, um, so the investments in small business is about to be done with the construction speed. We'll probably want to do this again. A lot of stuff happening in Mexico, blah, 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 blah. Um, we can really use manpower. I'm going to go ahead and do a military sign-on bonus. Use up some of those bottle caps. It's not so bad. A couple extra civilian workshops would be nice. Did I not get arms workshops? I thought that I got two more factories I could use for my gliders, but apparently I didn't. Hmm. Well, work is needed is done, which is going to boost up some production. Still a year ahead of time on most of this. We can go for the extra manpower here with the agriculture and the seed selection. Definitely worth it. We don't have a lot of manpower to spare, so no problemo. What would it take to get some additional units? 90 manpower each. Let's go ahead and train at least one, maybe two more. Maybe three. Let's go over three, because I'm about to get some extra manpower. I think that's going to be all right, as long as we can get this resistance under control. There's the restoring of the roads and industry. We can get even more good stuff. What does this do? Division defense, entrenchment, 5% construction speed. Yeah, all good. Never lose it again. I wanted this to get some better production, but we are probably okay as is. Um, we can go for the anti-tank weaponry and just let's no wait. Mm. Let's um let's go ahead and get the civilian factories going. Untapped resources will be fine. Hang on, cancel that. Yes. Let's just, let's just continue with the economy for a minute. And yes, I'm going to keep paying these guys off. I don't feel like getting raided. It's a very pittance as far as bottle caps are concerned. I don't really care that much. I think there could be some value in setting up a government agency. Let's set up the Circle of Steel. The agent can either get me some much-needed intel on the robot so we know what's going on, or could be used to put down some of the resistance. And with less resistance, I preserve some manpower and some equipment. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's probably good. Ah, the Bone Dancers. If only I could have found a better way to keep those going. I would say let's go for some economic laws, or at least some advisors, who could get me things like, I don't know, maybe some extra political power. But I'm a little bit worried about that. Stability, research speed, war support, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I kind of feel like I need my political power to continue working on these. If I waste much, um, I'm going to have a hard time here. I think I'd rather not take any laws. And in, like, let's say 80 days or so, I should be able to take on the robots fairly safely and will be okay. I don't have to worry about not having enough political power to deal with all of these guys. It's a lot of wars going on here. What the crud happened? Jesus, something freaking happened somewhere. That's a huge set of wars. All right, well, I'm glad to not be a part of that at all. Okay, untapped resources are done. So, civilian workshops, 30 days, 45 days to then do this. Yes. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's get those extra factories, which apparently aren't getting me much good right now, though we are, yeah, we just finished doing some of our spy stuff. So now we're up to seven. Oh, we're building, we're getting there. And in 20 something days, I can get a spy. And in 30 days, I'll have manpower, because right now I'm kind of at, uh, you know, zero. Though I am getting an extra 17 per day or whatever. End of the line. All right. So I need... Oh, I need manpower. Yee! Okay. So this is where I'm a little bit scared that I may have messed up some timing here. Um, wait. No. Hold on. Cancel a troop. Cancel a troop. I need to make progress on this first. I hate to lose the progress, but it's fine. Let's do this. Get rid of these guys. Need to make sure that we keep this all on par. Now we can start training up another two. I'm not going to have enough manpower for them right now, but that's okay. No big deal. We have the equipment. We'll get the manpower back. Alrighty. So I'm just waiting on a spy, and I can figure out what the heck is going on with these robots. 
That's the underground workshops done. Okay, so punching through steel, I just want to get myself a war goal, whether I use it right now, kind of a different question. But I'd like to at least have options, and if we need to cancel that later, we can. So we have a linguist and a heavyweight. We have a smooth talker, and we have another heavyweight. Linguist is nice. They usually can learn other languages and stuff pretty well, which makes it harder for them to get detected, generally speaking. Infiltration effectiveness is probably really good, too. But let's pick you up. And let's start spying over here in Robot City, and let's find out what the heck is going on over here. I wanna know what the heck is going on of them, y'all. Question, if I set up some gliders, the range is not enough. So if I wanna use a little bit of air superiority, I am going to need to build up an airport over here. That needs to be a high priority after this factory is done. It's not a lot, but you know, it's something. Okay, seed selection gets me the much-needed manpower, so we're good on that front. Uh, everything else seems unnecessary there. We can go for the extra reinforcement rate. Sure, question mark? That should be fine. The extra research speed is about to take place. We'll get an appeal to refugees, which hopefully boosts up my manpower just a little bit. Can start working on some stuff. Um, trained mongrels are good for some suppression. We're gonna pick this up because I really think that military police are something that I can't afford to worry about here or I can't afford to sleep on. I don't know, I'm, I've been burned, all right? I feel like I've been burned and by blood alone with all the nastiness that is the uh, new occupation mechanics. They're rough, dude. It's really freaking horrible. Someone just declared war on the hangdogs. Hold on. Warden, oh. Okay, they have a bit of a civil war going on at the moment. There is an AI of some sort fighting against them. <laughs> well, that presents something of an opportunity. Uh, but until I have the scorpions under control, I'm pretty sure I don't even have the choice. So we'll not worry about that at the moment. Never lose it again. Cheaper equipment and stuff. Maybe. I don't care about getting outposts. I shouldn't have to do a lot of defense, I hope. Um, so do you want equipment cost reduction or do I want extra entrenchment? Let's go for equipment cost reduction so it's easier to field more troops without having to worry about losing all of this. Exploration for technology. Spend bottle caps, chance of getting a treasure trove. I can't really afford to lose any infantry equipment at the moment, so that's probably a big no. Oh my, we now know that the robots have uh, kind of a lot of troops. The question is, are they good troops or like garbage troops? And if I can trap them, is that enough to uh, win? All of a sudden, I don't feel especially good about it. It would be a lot easier if I can at least have a little bit of air superiority though, so we definitely are gonna wait at least until that point. We do finish up one more of our doctrines, that helps. We can go for some breakthrough and speed, that would also help. Uh, I'm not willing to spend my army experience on that though. Um, if we wanted to toss some extra infantry in here, it would cost me manpower, and I don't know if I have enough to go around for this. Eight combat width isn't a lot. How big are your troops though? I mean, if they're like, you know, two, four combat width, like, I don't care. We can win that, maybe. It's deceptive how many divisions they have. But if they got more than that, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Nine gliders over here at the moment. So let's try sending these guys over here. We want air superiority and close air support. That's what I want in this area. Um, I think we go for it and try and pray that this wasn't a horrible, horrible mistake. They got a lot of upgrades. Fun. All right. Please cross river. Oh, okay, don't cross river here. Um, lose a lot of equipment while you attack me. Did my... Of course. Of course the air base is right there. Why wouldn't it be right there where it's going to get taken? It couldn't have been set up over here. No, it had to be right there. Why? Okay, we're getting some extra reinforcements. Green though they may be in over here. We are pushing through with this power armor. That's a good sign. I could try to counterattack here, but that's not what I want to do. I need to send extra troops over here because we're currently losing some ground against these robots, which is not going to be good enough. Uh, volunteers, I accept. A bunch of volunteers, I very much accept. That could be helpful for sure. We'll see how long it takes for them to arrive. 
Um, I could try to counterattack into this. I want them to set all their troops over here, though. We're making great progress. Like, here's the thing about this fight. Yeah, he's got some entrenchment, but look at his supply. Supply is hurting him, his organization's falling. My power armor is still holding pretty darn strong. We've barely taken a scratch in our power armor, and we're burning them down bit by bit. So, we're kind of okay still. Can we push across this river, too? Okay, now I need to stop you guys from uh, doing anything. Let's try to counterattack here. No, I need you to sit tight, get your organization back up. And then you need to get back into this defensive fight, please. I don't expect to win this, nor do I really want to. I just want to burn through these guys. If we can burn through this, we'll be fine. The extra volunteers could be huge. I wasn't expecting it. They'll arrive in two days. I mean, just saying. That's not bad. Here they come. All right, so volunteers arrive. They're here to help me out. We'll see if this makes much of a difference. It may or may not. All right, I changed my mind on this one. I need this power armor to quickly deploy down here and help fight with this. I need some more reinforcements. We're burning down some of the robots over here, but extra reinforcements would be great. You guys pop over here. Stop fighting this. I no longer care. I just want to prevent these guys from making any more pushes. That's all I care about. All right, so we're getting even more reinforcements over here. All looking good so far. As far as some research, um, medical chems, blah, 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 maintenance, uh, bleh, bleh, um, um, we could go for that encryption, decryption stuff, and it will give a slight edge. Or what? Production efficiency doesn't strike me as that important there. Horses. Kind of hilarious there. Um, I know that I do like things like dynamite, and I do like things like the machine guns. Especially... Can you stop attacking? Hang on. I told these guys not to attack, yet here they are, not obeying me. Huh. What is happening here? Oh, it's my ally attack. I couldn't even see him. Got it. Never mind. We're fine. Anyway, reinforcements, power armor, burn down the robots. Burn them down, burn them down, burn them down, 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 down. Okay, this infantry stuff is not going so well, I'll tell you that much. All right, so the power armor now takes the front and center reload here. Um, okay, I need to prevent them from retreating if possible. We're not going to get very far, but I want to burn across this. Now we have only one robot left. Nope, now back to two. Just trying to prevent them from going anywhere, dang it. Trying to prevent them from going anywhere. Um, bulwarks of steel. You know, I think we might as well go ahead and do this now. Keep them pinned. Don't let them go anywhere. Keep them pinned. Gosh, I really wish that I had the dang uh, Air Force now. I guess we could try pushing them back and just get the air superiority, but it kind of defeats the whole, like, you know, don't fight across a river thing that I was trying to go for. I could retreat further and get them to cross this river and then try to hit them. But right now, we're actually making enough good progress that I don't think I want to do that. Let's see what happens. If this attack fails, maybe, but we're actually on the verge of breaking through. Okay, we've only got one left. Stop bringing your guys back in. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, stop it! They're getting their um, their morale back just fast enough that I'm not burning these guys down at enough of an equal rate to really focus fire. But if we can get two of these guys to go away at the same time, which looks like we're about to, we'll focus fire on this. Let's get some extra help here. Come on, focus them down, focus them down. Go, 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 go. And got it. Alright, we're across. Now we try to get to Robot City. Which might be dangerous, but we gotta try. Uh, you guys. Some of you go here. Some of you hold right here. You guys go there. Hold your ground, let the volunteers do their thing. Hey, they got power armor too! Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, okay, so can anyone, like, just get me some sort of a breach? Like, if you can get up this direction, I don't care. Anything will work. Just help me get around these guys a little bit. Look at those big honking robots. Um, no, you belong over here. And you're going to help punch through this way. We have access to our planes again. 12 gliders. It's not a lot. But I'll send what I can over here and try to get an air superiority buff. And maybe a little bit of close uh, air support. Yeah, so we're doing a tiny 
bit of damage. It's not much, but I'll take what I can get, dang it. I'll take what I can get. These robots by themselves are not very powerful against our power armor, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Can we keep these guys pinned and prevent them from going anywhere? While well, some of you try to work your way up toward the robot city. See if you can steal away the center of their operations and their supply. We may not surround the robots, but we're looking okay. These extra volunteers are making a pretty huge difference, I'll just say that much. Very glad to have it, I'll tell you what. Very glad to have it. We need some more defenders here so that they can't keep trying to push me. We need them to abandon this fight a little bit faster. Can you assist here, please? Actually, tell you what, why don't you come up over here instead. Assist there. We can try to fight back along over this direction. You can stop pushing for a second. You buy me a little bit of ground over here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, keep these guys exhausted for a second. Get into Robot City. Take their primary holding. Never mind. Um, assist in burning these guys down while my reinforcements get in position. Okay, we'll take that. He's trying to reinforce, but he's not doing a good job. Now we can try to flank around Robot City. Hang on, you lost too much of your morale or organization. Okay, looking fine so far. We've got access to dynamite now. Could start working on the balloons and stuff, and I guess I will. We're ultimately going to still want to go for, like, some close air support and stuff. You stop attacking and losing, um your organization, because that doesn't gain me anything. We're about to hit Robot City. They're trying to hit me from too many directions right now. Tell you what, Bert, can you, can you get up over here? One of you get up over here. Let's hit a flanking bonus. Okay, we've got Robot City now. So what does that do as far as your war? I am curious. Where is, oh my God, there are so many wars going on right now. Doki Doki is 44% towards capitulation. Not as good as I might have hoped for. We have to go all the way to Warland? Whatever. We've managed to fully secure Bastion. That's great. Okay, so once we finish Bulwarks of Steel, we should be able to bite down on the Scorpions and gain a core on that territory. That's gonna be huge. Bulwarks of Steel is done. Why can't I do this? Wait, confiscation. Ah, oh, we have to finish this first. Confiscation of resources. Boo. All right. Would have been nice to have that, but it's fine, it's fine. They're fighting me really hard over here. At least we have access to some more support companies. Not that I have the production to justify it, mind you, but that's besides the point. Um, let's go ahead and start getting some encryption and stuff going for us, just for any additional little bonuses. The air superiority is certainly helping a little bit, but it's not enough. Doki's buddies. They've got a little heart on them. Is this part of the lore? Or is this just like silliness? I can't tell. Now, well, regardless, the Doki's buddies are dead now. <laughs> All right, um, so we got a push up here to the north. I've got their radar station so far, which is nice. If I can counterattack some of these robots, maybe we can push them out around Robot City a little bit more. I just really need to stack up the power armor is the thing. You stack up the power armor into a pushing force. We have only 292 manpower left. Logistically speaking, I'm running out of some guns, but we're otherwise okay. I could try training up some more troops. How many... We have 268 power armor. That's enough to train up a few more of these. Let's try training up additional power armor. It's gonna take a little time, but that's okay. That's okay, not a big deal. We've got some encryption, working on some decryption. Looks like my uh, volunteers might actually be about to push into Mars Valley, which would be great. Let's go ahead and bite down on those scorpions. That will let me get the uh, war goal against the hangdogs, who are still fighting against the wardens, so they're kind of distracted. If I can finish off the robot city quickly, uh, this is a chance to get in here and try to do something about it. But we'll see, that's gonna be a little bit rough. Gotta be really careful here. If I can pop in over here... Oh, hang on, my buddies just did something. We can encircle all of these units, and with no supply, these guys will start to die off very, very quickly. Uh, but now we're under attack. Dang it, okay. Um, it's not going fantastically, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, if you guys can please rush up over here, that would be huge. Maybe you can pin these guys down and prevent them from going anywhere. 
Look at the little caravans. Oh, they're kind of cute and weird. The Larage balloons are done. I'll learn about the tra uh, bomb gliders as well. Wouldn't be a bad idea to learn about transport planes because I think that the power armor can do uh, pair drops and they're really, really good at it. So that's certainly a thing to consider. Anyway, if we can just cut these guys off, bada boom. Okay. Now we need to get our power armor back up over here now. In fact, let's do that right over here now before these guys can get in here because I'd rather not have them cut this back off. There we go. What the heck? These guys look a little different, don't they? You guys are weird. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're starting to crush these fools. All right, that's gonna be a lot of robots lost for them. Good, okay, so that's gonna be taken care of. Robot City's fully secured. Now I just need to reorganize my forces and make a big push. If I can quickly grab, let's say, a bunch of power armor, all three of you, we can go for a push all the way up to Warland. Do that mainly by following the railroad like so. Perfect. That should be everything we are going to need. Alrighty. Uh, I think we are probably going to end this video here. Hard to tell if uh, I've gone for the full 30 minutes or not. Um, I don't need to do anything over here and seize on patriotism. This will be a way of getting some weekly manpower back and also my war support, which is pretty darn low. But it also loses war support for a while, so I don't know. We'll see. War propaganda. Yeah, mobilize the people. I need to find ways of getting some more stability up. Because my stability is garbage while we are at war here. I also need to spend some political power because I've been holding on to it for way too long. So I'll come back to that in a little bit. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.